after you. If anybody's getting thirsty, there are cold drinks on sale down the bottom. But we treated as such. But when you see what happens to some of our people, and must not be fooled about it, the highest infant mortality rate of any race in this country, of any people in this country, when you see the percentages of death amongst the, our small children, because it's not printed in the media. That's why it was a success. It was a success in the other territory. I visit your territories. I visit your country, and I respect it. All I ask is that you respect mine. And march, march by all means, but do it in a way that no one can come back at you. Because we are law-abiding citizens, and we will do that. And we will do it with a cause that is something much more deeper than... Brothers and sisters, and the good friends who are standing with us, I am very, very appalled at the situation of what is happening in Queensland. What amazes me is that we are under what is known as British justice. And if the British justice is as just as it's supposed to be, then through this media and at this meeting, I, as a member of the British Empire, appeal to Her Majesty the Queen of England to intervene on our behalf. Look up, my people. The dawn is breaking. The world is waking to a new bright day, where none defame us, no restriction came us, nor colour shame us, nor sneer dismay. Now brood no more on the years behind you. The hope of thine do shall the past replace, when a juster justice, grown wise and stronger, points the bone no longer at a darker race. I thought it was just going to be a, a brief one. I think a lot of people have heard me talk before. And um, a lot of things have been said about Aboriginal land rights and the fight for land rights. And uh, I think what we've got to do is keep emphasising those points that we've always made. You know, the television, the media, so we're battling focusing attention on the battle for land rights here in Queensland. And I'd say anywhere else in Australia as well is to get out on the streets to march, is to protest in any form, whatever. That's the best way of getting the point across. In their own individual way and within their parties, done what they can for the Aboriginal movement and we're allowing them to speak today. One of these people I'll now introduce is Senator Susan Ryan. The Parliamentary Labor Party and a very large group of my colleagues who are here standing shoulder to shoulder with you today and the Federal Leader of the Opposition, Bill Hayden, who will be joining us later on. We are here to say one thing. We are prepared to use the constitutional powers of the Commonwealth when we are in government to secure land rights for Queensland Aboriginal Island of people. It establishes beyond all reasonable doubt prior occupancy, prior ownership of this country. Land rights. Land rights is important for the survival of Aboriginal people. Land rights is vital for the survival of Aboriginal people. This society that's around us here today, see all their big buildings and all that sh stuff, <laughs> state and all through white Australia, is a society that worships money. And if Aboriginal people to go crawl into no Department of Aboriginal Affairs. We don't have to go to Canberra with our caps in our hands and suck into the bureaucrats because then we've got our own money. We generate our own money. In this country, all over this country, 